Morning, everyone. This is the News Burst for Monday morning. Wake up temperatures 54 degrees in Waukesha, already 58 degrees in Milwaukee. Here's the rest of the storm team forecast from meteorologist Scott Steele. Partly cloudy, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. In fact, Scott, he's watching some stuff on the radar that may get to us later on this morning. Uh, becoming very warm and breezy, high near 87 degrees. In the news today, we have some breaking news out of Iraq. Five U.S. soldiers killed. That's about all we know at this point, which is odd. At least we usually know a location, but the military is not releasing that at this point, nor what type of attack uh, caused those soldiers to be killed or their names as family is still being notified. But that'll be a story that you want to watch and stay up to date on throughout the day. For the third time in one week, Milwaukee police shot a suspect. They said it was a guy armed with a knife. He charged a police officer. The officer shot him. And that suspect is in critical condition in the hospital this morning. State Supreme Court will hear arguments on the collective bargaining law. And that's going on in Madison today. Don't expect any definitive decisions to be made by the court, but they will uh, take that next step in the process. In Europe, they think they know where the E. coli is coming from. We have this deadly E. coli outbreak, 22 people dead, thousands of people sick in a number of countries, primarily in Europe, although we do have one victim here in Milwaukee, somebody we believe is traveling over in Europe and has come home uh, sick with E. coli. They think they traced it to sprouts being grown on a farm in Germany. That's great news because once they know where it's coming from, then they can take steps to stop preventing the spread of it. But already that's done a lot of damage. Steve Jobs is back from a leave of absence today at Apple and apparently has some huge announcement about the technology. The iCloud. I have no idea what this is. This is with the streaming of the music and the videos. Well, because Can I sound the older? Music. With the music and the videos, the kids with the streaming, they're going to get voices and TV in their phones. Because in my day... In my day, we had TV in the TV. No, but apparently this is another, you know, huge revolutionary thing, changed the universe. I know, like Apple has been making... Ho-hum, oh, Apple right. will change the world again. I air is next. <laughs> right. <laughs> Breathable air, brought to you by Apple. In sports, Brewers won 6-5 to five in 11 innings in uh, Florida yesterday. They got one more against the Marlins. It's a 6-10 first pitch. If the Brewers win, that's a four-game road sweep for the crew. You know, and I heard a stat today, too. Brewers <laughs> have likes it. the best record in all of baseball since Mother's Day weekend. All right, since Mother's Day weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a month. We're playing pretty good baseball right now. Right. And that we're finding huge. ways to win. Right. Right? That's what you always say. Find good teams to find win. a way right. to win. And then we come home for the Mets series, which has those discounted tickets for all three nights. The place is going to be up for grabs. It'll be full. That's Yesterday's right. game played before 32 fans. And oh. What's wrong with those people? I know in Miami, you know, I mean, you got a lot of stuff to do, but... Give me a break. <laughs> Go to a baseball game already. Or take that team out of there. Oh, a lot of right. places You're would like to have a professional baseball team where people might actually show up. And the ballpark looks really nice, right? Yeah, sure. Nice. The green. Good. Good morning, everyone.